Thank you. Permission to explain my vote? Yes. So you have one second. Uh, I just want to congratulate um, Chair Drum and, Ch and Chair Gibson as well for a fantastic job on this uh, budget and for sitting through hours and hours and days, really, of, of meetings and, um, and getting us to a place as a council where we have a budget we can be very proud of that. I want to just note one or two things here, which is that there are a few items in this budget that really reflect the public coming before this council and making a case for certain items. I know the school accessibility money was something that came up in the public testimony, and the speaker and the chair of the finance committee felt very moved by that public testimony, and, and, and we did make an allocation for money to improve accessibility. Fair fares, those stories we heard on and on and on. So um, I, am, I am very proud that the public had a, an important part of the discussion in this debate. Um, I, uh, so I will be proudly voting aye. Um, I also, uh, disclosing on the record today that I, uh, we are allocating money to Mount Sinai. My mother is an employee of Mount Sinai uh, currently. Um, with that public disclosure, I proudly vote aye. Mario. May be excused to explain my vote. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, thank you to my colleagues. I, I want to start by thanking uh, the wonderful finance staff. Uh, I know it's been said, but uh, I've been in this building since 2004. Uh, as a staff member, I, I worked with a lot of you. Um, and as elected official, uh, I really, really appreciate the time, the effort that you all put into this. Um, so for me personally, on behalf of my constituents and my staff, um, I know we can be a pain uh, on our stuff, but uh, thank you, thank you so much to to, um, to staff. Um, I have four kids, so I have to mention a few um, uh, conflict of interest, so I'm disclosing that um, my kids go to Susan Wagner High School, and we are funding it. My brother works at Richmond University Medical Center, and uh, we are also funding that. Uh, two of my kids are in the Summer Youth Employment Program, and my youngest is attending PS30, which we were also um, funding. As for the budget, um, I'm going to be voting now on pre-considered resolutions 397, 398, 408, and M64. These are the resolution the council passed every year that set the property tax revenue, and every year property taxes grow faster than the average homeowner's ability to pay them. This is the fifth budget I have voted on since I came into office, and since the first one, property tax has, has risen more than 30 percent. That is more than three times the rate of inflation or the rate household incomes have increased during that period. And that is exactly why I felt it was so critical to include a property tax rebate in this budget. At a time when the city's economy is thriving and revenues are soaring, I think we missed an opportunity to help so many families that are struggling to make ends meet. With that said, I am grateful that this Despite the fact that we often have very different ideas about what the city's budget priority should be, Speaker Johnson and many of my colleagues here today fought with me for this rebate and also share my ultimate goal of bringing more fairness to the city's inequitable and arcane property tax system. I will keep fighting for property tax relief and I can only hope next year we can work together and find a way to make it happen. I am pleased that we were able to work together to significantly increase our budget reserves so we will be better prepared for an economic downturn. And I am once again grateful to the speaker for working with me to fund projects and initiatives that will improve the lives of the residents of Staten Island. So once again, I'm voting no on pre-considered resolutions 397, 398, 408, and M64, and I on the rest. Lanceman. I would vote aye, um, and let me disclose on the record that uh, the Young Israel of Hillcrest is funded in this budget, and I am associated with this entity. I am a congregant. We have a vote of 13 in the affirmative, zero in the negative. Did you want to comment, Councilmember Cornegie, before the vote? Yes, okay. I'm sorry, so I'm disclosing on the record of the council proceedings today, the New York City Department of Education is funded in the budget. I have six children who've graduated and gone on to be very productive citizens. Uh, I have one graduating today, so I'll be left with two uh, in the system, so. I vote 13 in the affirmative, zero the negative, no abstention. All items are adopted with the exceptions of resolutions 397, 398, and M64 with resolution 408 have been adopted by the committee, 12 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you very much, and with that, this meeting is adjourned at 2.08 in the afternoon. We will now meet uh, in the chambers for the stated meeting.